Hello and welcome to Mods You Should. You're here with me, Web101, and today we're looking at the Mind Canical Gravity Science mod. It adds three blocks into the game where basically it affects gravity. It either um, makes you float, it uh, pulls you towards the block, or it makes you repel from the block. So, um, what I decided to do is show you how to uh, make these first. Okay, so, uh, the compass is very important, so I'm going to stack a little there. Also need a little redstone, so I'll put some there, and you get iron ingot in the corners. Then you have the gravitor, Gra gravitor, gravitor. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay, another one is to get some uh, more iron ingots again, and just fill up these rest of spaces with redstone, and you get the attractor. You can obviously guess what that does. Uh, and finally, just do the opposite and fill the rest with redstone and you get the repulsor so we have our three blocks here which are very very cool so um, so we'll place that down there and it works by redstone but um, it's a bit close so I might put down a little redstone circuit uh, the redstone has to be right next to the block you can't put it underneath it doesn't work okay so uh, now we'll turn it on Oh god, so see we're starting to float. It's got a block radius about eight, I think. So we come to third person. Uh, god, how far is uh, that is really cool. How high is it even gonna make me go up for oh so about eight blocks high I think. Oh no oh, god. Wait ah! <laughs> Oh that really Oh not again, not again Okay. Okay, so we'll uh, switch it off. So obviously it doesn't work when it's obviously not turned on. Uh, so next we'll use the uh, attractor. So I'll plant that down. And if you look close to... Uh, uh, being attracted. Now I literally cannot move. <laughs> I'm pressing the keys loads to run away and I can't move. Oh god. Damn it. Jump. No, oh, okay, so I have to break the redstone. So that is a very cool mod right there. So that you can actually use very keen cunningly to um to create traps. And finally the repulsor. So if you're trying to get close to it, obviously um it push just keeps trying to push me away. Similar to the gravity mod, I guess, but um that's an interesting idea. If we were to stand over here and activate it, can we? Hang on. Uh, if I put one here instead. Whoa! Okay, so definitely does its job. Oh. No. I can't get close enough to. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we have our three traps here. So what I think I might do is I might actually put down some mobs to, to, uh, to kind of show off what I can really do. Just for annoyance. And activate the gravity mod. <laughs> they never told me I could teach a pig to fly when pigs fly and then obviously we're gonna this is a good way to hang on <laughs> oh god oh no don't walk into it bad idea oh. stupid thing okay so <laughs> oh that's hilarious right what be another good idea? So what I thought about maybe is if you had a lot of zomb- Ow! Uh, uh, had a lot of zombies- Ah! No! Quickly! Ah! Uh, Activate the retract- Ah! <laughs> no! No! Let me out! It's okay, they're only over there. <laughs> right. So the <laughs> this worked out well. Now the idea is obviously that uh, oh god, <laughs> easy pickings. <laughs> what are you doing, pig? You know, like you tried to escape but you couldn't. That one's going mental. Oh, like you throw. It's like they're trapped in a vortex, especially my items as well. Now you simply get your bone arrow out and pick them off one by one. 
So that's one idea of a trap you can set up. Um, oh dear, what else could we do? Um, repulsor. I think Repulsor would be handy if you had maybe a chest around and you could view from some sort of platform. Or maybe what you could do is... Okay, so here's a hypothetical layout. I've got a chest there filled with goodies and things. Um, you know, so obviously I want to get at it, so you go to get on it, but the Repulsor pushes you away. You know, so, you know, whatever you do. Although you could just right-click it from afar. But, um... But hell, you know... Why why do that when you can just build like really elaborate traps like uh maybe just have the whole damn thing blind with them. So like, you know whatever you do, you know, you're never gonna be able to reach it to get it. But maybe there's a special way of getting around that. So bit so obviously this is a really bad example, but it's very quickly thrown together, so you know, there's your chest. You know, that you can't get to it. You can't even right-click it because you don't get far enough, you know. So, you know, be obviously a bit more experimental with it because um, the repulsor is actually just right here. So you can place blocks on top of it and it will still work. So that's quite cool. So, you know, that kind of sucks. But how are you going to get to it? Ah, there's a really cunning way of getting around that. So, uh, go back to your craft table. If you've made two attractors, just let me place one there and there. Get your iron ingots, place two there. And you have gravity boots. Now, this basically null and voids all the effects that you've been troubling with. So, if you simply put the gravity boots on, activate, walk close, doesn't affect you. Whereas if you place down the pig, it will affect it. He's being affected, I'm not. See, the gravity boots are very, very handy. And, oh, I wonder if I, oh, yes, I can get to my chest, get my diamond. And everyone else will just get pushed away. There you are, pig. Just you, you try and get to my chest, pig. Don't succeed, pig. So you can't. No, you can't do that. There you go. Try and get to it now. Ha. Okay, so here's a hypothetical situation for you here. You've got maybe your items are stuck. It's a two-block jump. You know, either way, yeah, you, know, you could try and risk it, but you may die. So let's get our old. Uh, Generator out. Our attractor out. Boop. That didn't work like I wanted it to. Or maybe, you know, track them all together. And boosh! Spoon away. Come on, zombie, try and get closer. Can I get okay, well, you can, get, you can get like that close if you want. <laughs> you know, little random moments. So basically, you collect them all up. And then you spread them out. And then you collect them back up again. Uh, you spread them out. <laughs> collect them all up again. Spread them out. <laughs> uh, collect them all up again. You get your gravity going. You get your mental. You spread them out. <laughs> and of course, you're unaffected thanks to your lovely gravity boots. Ah! Go into my house quickly! Close the door. Okay, okay. Now we'll get attracted. So I've set up my trap here. Okay, so we have a lot of zombies here. I've modified the trap to be a bit more effective. So, now they're off me. But they're gonna get dragged into that. And the thing is, because it's so close to lava, they're just gonna keep catching on fire. Oh god, there's a bloodbath. But spiders seem to be a bit of a problem. Oh god, Enderman. Attract him! Ah! Oh. Come, Mr. Enderman, give me your bananas. Yeah, come on, I'll bring it. Oh god. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, link for the downloads in the description. I'm sure you guys can come up with much more creative traps than I've done. Uh, go and just download it and give it a go because it's really cool. And I can, you know, these are just an example of what you can do with it. Uh, or just muck around with it, really. It's definitely one to try out. So, from me, Web101, 
and mods you should. I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching. Bye. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so apparently, uh, if you press the middle mouse button, you shoot out uh, a rocket launcher, and then... So you shoot a rocket launcher, and if you press... Oh, hang on. If you, and if you press the button again, it shoots out, and... Oh, bloody hell. Well, that's gone.